Hello everyone and welcome back to my series of point and click adventures where we continue our story of the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. We arrived in Bewley and we were due to meet Mr. Salt Shoulder. We haven't met him yet so let's see what happens now and we'll continue the story. Just to clarify I am not using a guide to play this game. This is all me going in blind. If you're enjoying this please do drop a like subscribe and let me know in the comments if you've played this game or if you're a fan of point and click games i was going to dip in and out with non-intrusive commentary i might still do that let's see how the story goes anyway so yeah let's get on with it quite do you know a man named leonard shoulder i don't know out about no leonard shoulder what can you tell me about hobbs barrow not to be found digging around in those things you know of local barrows, then? Don't concern yourself. What can you tell me about Bewley? Not much around, dear love. Not worth mentioning to you, like. I see. Goodbye. Dara. The window box is well out of reach. Hello? E yes? My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Douglas. It's a pleasure to meet you, Douglas. Oh. That's a great sword technique you have. Thanks, miss. Mr. Crozier's gonna make me a real one when I turn 12. I'm preparing myself to fight the Lantern Worm. What is the Lantern Worm? It's gonna come back and get us all. John Lantern thought he killed it at the River Ware, but my father told me it still lives. We must all be prepared. The Lantern Worm isn't real, Douglas. Father just told you that to get you out of his air. Not true. I saw it slithering out by the beck. Like a giant eel, it were. I ran home so fast, I thought I would fly. Sorry, miss. My brother has a vivid imagination. Children often do at his age. I'll keep training. You will all thank me when I thrust my sword deep into its fat belly. Douglas, this lady doesn't want to hear your nonsense. Do you like living in Bewley? Yeah, I do. Are you from the city? I'm from a long way away. You must have come on the train! I love watching all the steam puff up into the sky! Have you been on the train yourself? No, miss. Our parents don't have the money for train tickets. Father says we have all we need here in Beulah. <sighs> Perhaps this nice lady would like to take you away with her on the train. No, I need to stay and protect Beulah from the lantern worm. Do you know a man called Leonard Shoulder? That's a funny name. Have you heard of Hobbs Barrow? What's that? A local burial mound. Our parents don't let us wander far from the village. What's a burial mound? Don't you mind about that, Douglas. Who's Mr. Crozier? He's a blacksmith. His forge is just over there on the other side of the square. Don't you think 12 years of age is a little young for a real sword? I'll be a master swordsman by then. Goodbye. Goodbye, miss. Good day. Hello, miss. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Betty. 
Nice to meet you, Betty. What are you up to? My brother is practicing his sword fighting technique. I'm to watch him until he tires himself out. I'm tireless! This time last month it were all about his teaspoon collection. This month it's swords. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? No. Are you sure? Yes. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? Our parents don't like us talking to strangers, miss. So you know of it? No. Are you sure? Yes. Goodbye. Bye, miss. Hmm. No one here. I don't think anyone is home. Good day. Yes? Mr. Crozier, I presume. Aye. George Crozier, at your service. My name is Thomasina. Aye. Can I help you? Are you a Bewley native, Mr. Crozier? Aye, born and bred. This were my father's forge before mine. How is business faring? I do an honest trade. There'll always be horses needing shoes and farmers needing tools. You'll let me know if you need out made or mended. I'll do you a fair price. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Do you know a man by the name of Leonard Shoulder? Oh, aye. Old Leonard. Have you seen him recently? No, not recently. Do you know where he lives? Why all these questions, lass? I need to speak with him. He invited me to Bewley. Oh, he'll turn up. I've seen him in the plough and furrow from time to time. But do you know where he lives? I need to find him. I believe he lives somewhere out on the moors. Can't tell you out more than that. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Do you know of a local landmark named Hobbs Barrow? There's a fair many barrows found out on the moors, lass. Too many to put a name to. Not a soul in Bewley pays them any mind. What can you tell me about Bewley? We don't get many visitors here, outside of market days. But there's plenty of work for the village blacksmith. Where are you from, then? I arrived yesterday on the train from London, by way of Derby. Oh, aye. I've heard about London. What have you heard? Plenty of factories there. Yes, indeed. The city is always changing and moving forward. Too busy for me, though, lass. I prefer a quieter pace. Aye. When do market days run in Bewley? Once or twice a month. The next one is tomorrow. How delightful. Unless your vice is cabbages, they'll be nought to interest a young lady. I don't mind a cabbage. <sighs> then you're in luck. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. Alas, it is not mine to take. The blacksmith is right here. I've no need to go inside. In memory of Peter Black. In memory of George Paxton. In memory of William Ager. In memory of Barnaby Tillett. In memory of Mabel Hurst. In memory of Percival Roach. In memory of Benjamin Garkham. In memory of Romeo Hegg, dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. In memory of Millicent Smith. In memory of Henry Crozier. In memory of Henry Crozier. In memory of Percival Roach. In memory of Barnaby Tillett. Hello. Good day. Would you like to buy one of these cakes, pet? Yes, I'd like to buy a cake. Wonderful. 
I can tell you're not from around here, because if you were, you would know about my Bakewell puddings. They are quite famous. Curses. I have no more money. That's unfortunate, pet. I'm sorry. I, I can't give them away for free. The money goes to the church, you see, and one cannot shirk one's duty to the church. I understand. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? This is De Plancy. A pleasure to meet you, Mrs. De Plancy. Likewise, pet. Tell me about yourself, Mrs. De Plancy. About me? <laughs> what would you possibly want to know about me? I have been attending St. Edmund's Church my whole life. I always want to help where I can, so I sell my baked goods and all the proceeds go to its upkeep. This place means so much to me. What can you tell me about St. Edmund's Church? Isn't it the finest building? It's been standing here since the 12th century. The box pews in the nave are very fine and date back to the 17th century. The door is open if you'd like to worship. Thank you, Mrs. Deplancy. Do you know a local man called Leonard Shoulder? Yes, I know Leonard. What business do you have with him? It's a long story, but I'm trying to find where he lives. I'm afraid I don't know, dear. Father Roach has access to the parish register. He might be able to help you. What can you tell me about Father Roach? He is a lovely man and an exemplary servant of the Lord. He's been the vicar of St. Edmund's for many years. Where can I find Father Roach? At this time of day, he'll be taking his exercise in Hearn Wood, to the west of the village. Thank you. I'll go find him. Be sure to listen out for his merry whistling. Such a jolly man. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? Hobbs what? Hobbs Barrow, a local burial mound. The only place of burial I know about and care for is in this very churchyard. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. It's locked. Goodness me, look at these box pews. I've never seen any as tall as that before. Most unusual architecture, even for the Normans. Hmm, someone has left a necklace hanging here. A silver cross, sterling by the look of it. Maybe I can reunite it with its owner. I've no time for such things. Locked. Locked as well. I think they all might be. A memorial list of former vicars. They stretch back several hundred years. Here lies Margaret Tillett, beloved mother, wife, and sister. Today, she dances with angels. John Purchase, dearly beloved husband of Florence. Forever in light, Anne Kemp. Joseph Davis. Samuel Bryden, death is only a shadow across the path to heaven. Here lies Elizabeth Farnaby. This appears to be a recently dug unmarked grave. William Paxton, modest and gentle of heart.
Margaret's Lookout. I wonder who Margaret is, or was. The locals might be alarmed if I dismantle their cairn. The moors continue for miles in this direction. I don't wish to lose my way. The locals might be... Better not touch them. They could be poisonous. The moors stretch into the distance. I don't wish to wander aimlessly. Excuse me, do you think anyone would mind if I borrowed this trowel? You help yourself, dear. Father Roach won't mind lending it. Just be sure to put it back when you're finished. Of course, thank you. It is more blessed to give than to receive. I may be a barrow digger, but I am no... is extremely sharp. Ouch! The broken leg. Perhaps I shouldn't risk soiling this glove until I... Now isn't... Are you sure this is the only way, Father? I beg you! It's the only cure for this torturous malady! The vicar looks dreadfully ill. This handkerchief was a gift from my mother. I hope she will understand. This should work. Are you sure you want me to do this? Yes, it will cure me of my ills. I shall do as you ask, Father. Thank the Lord for my spare pair. God bless you. 
I already feel quite better. I'm glad, Father. The rapid healing properties of bloodletting cannot be overstated. I'm Frederick Roach, vicar of St. Edmund's Church. My name is Thomasina Bateman. It's a pleasure to meet you. Are you feeling better? Yes, thank you. What ails you, Father Roach? I... I just ate a rotten berry, that's all. I like to pick blackberries for my supper, you see. They are quite delicious, as long as you mind the bramble. My apologies again. I wish we had met in different circumstances. Are you from Beaulieu originally? I was born in our very own St. Edmunds. It's quite the story. Do tell. My mother was sheltering there as a frightful tempest raged. And lo, did her waters break right there and then in that pew. One could say that you were born into your role, Father. <laughs> Indeed. When my mother told me the story as a young boy, I knew that this was my calling. St. Edmund's is a fine building. Thank you for saying so. It's hard work keeping her in good shape, but our congregation is always willing to lend a hand in the Lord's name. What is it like being the vicar here? Every day is a blessing, my child. I have a great love for our parish, and the Lord looks after us. What about your congregation? Numbers have fallen over the years, I must say. But those that remain are faithful and full of his spirit. I'm looking for Mr. Leonard's shoulder. Oh, yes. Are you a relative? No, it's a long story, but he invited me to Bewley. And he didn't tell you his address? He was to meet me last night at the Plough and Furrow, but he never came. I see. Well, let me welcome you to Bewley on his behalf. Thank you, Father. Do you know where Mr. Shoulder lives? Let me think. It's been many moons since I've paid him a visit. Perhaps you could allow me to take a look at the parish register? No need. I remember it now. A fair hike across the moors. Could you please give me directions? I'll take you there myself. It's the least I can do after you aided me, so... Capital. Thank you. Just let me know when you're ready to pay him a visit. I'll be resting here for the time being. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? I can't say I've heard of it. It's supposedly a famous local landmark. I'm afraid I know nothing about it. What can you tell me about Bewley? It's a quiet town. The railway line, which I presume you arrived by, is the only news of note we've had here for years. I've heard the new station has received a mixed reaction. <laughs> I've heard many a debate, it's true. But my role is not to adjudicate on that matter. I'm very busy in my own work, you see. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. I have no desire to go rooting about in there. I shall see you later this evening, gents. Well, I say. Greetings, my dear. Hello, sir. A pause on your beauty, for I shall see you again soon. Wait! Some nerve. Lady, you're blushing. I most certainly am not. Sorry, lass. No way through here today. Says who? Lord Panswick. Now get back before you find yourself under a falling tree. My name is Thomasina Bateman. Oh, I. You're not from round here, Thomasina Bateman. No, just visiting. What is your name, sir? Horace. Are you in charge here? I am indeed. Tell me, who was that arrogant man here just now? Just someone passing by. It sounded like you knew him better than that. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but that's none of your business. What are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? We're chopping down trees. There is no need to be sarcastic. We're employed by Lord Panswick. He's ordered us to gather logs from his woods. That's what we're doing. These are his woods? Aye, his lordship owns most of the land round Beoli. Who is Lord Panswick? 
our governor. He's the governor of the whole town. All right, Owen, back to work now. He lives in Bewley? Aye, not far away. But his lordship doesn't like questions or visitors. Now please leave us to our work. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? No, I don't. Can you let me get back to my work now? Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? Can't say I have. Why are you gathering logs for Lord Panswick? By heck, you ask a lot of questions. If you must know, his lordship is repairing an old ruin on his land. We need the timber for the restoration work. How intriguing. What type of ruin is Lord Panswick restoring? An old chapel. I should rather like to see it. Not possible. His lordship does not welcome visitors to his estate. Thanks for your time. We'll be done by tomorrow morning. Come back then if you want to explore the woods. I'll let him get on with his work. I'm not going near it. It smells disgusting. What do you know of Lord Panswick? Oh yes, a rather important fellow around here. His vast land holdings give many a steady employment. I hear he is renovating an old chapel on his land. Aye, I've heard such reports. He believes this to be a godless land. Something I wholeheartedly disagree with. To which god his chapel will be dedicated to remains a matter of concern. Why do you say that? Oh, my apologies. Don't listen to my oafish conjecture. Let us move on. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. I found this necklace inside the church. Do you know who it belongs to? Many in our congregation wear such things. I'll announce it at the next service. Do you mind if I keep hold of it until then? Not at all. Hello there, my name's Thomasina. Yeah? How are you? Go away! Do you know a man called Leonard Shoulder? No. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? No. What do you know about Lord Panswick? I heard he owns the whole county. Have you met him? No, he lives out on the moors somewhere. But everyone does what he tells them to. Why is that? Because he has a lot of money. Goodbye. Good day, little one. What's your name? Hello, miss. I'm Jane and this is my brother, Wally. Lovely to meet you. I'm Thomasina. I'd introduce you to my dolls, but they're drying out at the moment. This is a lovely little beck. It's where we get our water, miss. It's good for drinking and cleaning. Your dolls look lovely, Jane. Thank you, miss. I love them very much. Today was their bath day. Wally doesn't say much. He's mordy with me because he's bored, miss. He thinks he's too old to play with dolls. I see. Where are your parents? They are picking apples from the big tree in our yard. Daddy and I sell them at the market. That sounds nice. But they don't mind us playing at the beck, as long as we don't touch the Ammon's horn. What is the Ammon's horn? It's over there on that rock. Do you mean the fossil? It's the Ammon's horn. Daddy said we should never touch it. It will make the god angry. What god? Ammon, of course. How wonderful! I'll be sure not to touch it. I wouldn't want to anger the gods. Sensible. Do you know an old man called Leonard Shoulder? No, miss. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? I... Jane! No, miss. Are you sure? I swear. Goodbye. Bye, miss. They aren't mine to take. Delicate flowers smell rather sweet. Hey! Stay away 
from that? Don't touch it! It's bad luck to touch the Yemen's horn. I'm serious. Uh, fine. So we've met quite a few interesting folk in this a small, quaint little village in Yorkshire. So yeah, we'll we'll continue the story in the next episode. But things are starting to get a bit interesting, kind of figuring out what's going on. It's a very interesting game. It has some dark atmospheric vibes, what we've seen so far, especially with the priest who was vomiting everywhere. So we'll continue this. I'm enjoying this. So I'll I'll pick it up next time and I'll see you later.